Hi Scorpio, this is your January monthly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my monthly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love and an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll get you an advice for the whole month of January. Please like, subscribe and share this video to support this channel. This first spread is on new love in January. We have the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Cups. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Six of Wands. In the potential outcome, we have Justice with the King of Wands and uh, the Empress. And we also have Death on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a uh, Libra or a uh, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or another Scorpio. I like this spread, Scorpio. I like it a lot. We have your card, Death, on the bottom of the deck. Right? That's, it's always a good sign to hear your own card in your own reading. And I believe the Empress right next to the deck is also you. <laughs> and uh, the King of Wands right there in the middle of the potential outcome is the person you're dealing with. Probably a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If they're not a Fire Sign, then this is somebody who is very fiery, very passionate, somebody who stands out of the crowd. You know, this person could be a leader among their peers. And uh, it kind of feels like it's going to be very mutual and the, the two of you will connect immediately. It will be like an instant chemistry, instant connection and the two of you will want to move this forward as quickly as possible. I'm even picking up some sort of an urgency here. Not in a negative way but in a good way. It's like you're kind of anxious to get uh, the show on the road. Actually both of you are a little bit anxious about it. You just want to do whatever is necessary for the two of you to kind of like establish your, the, yourselves as a couple, <laughs> right? Um, so we have the first card that came out that is the uh, Eight of Wands right there and it's clarified by the Ace of Cups. The Eight of Wands is one of the fastest cards in the deck. For some of you it will play out as uh, if you're traveling in early January or at some point in January you could meet this person on the road or um, you know, the Eight of Wands is a card of communication, a lot of communication, back and forth communication. So, yeah, it'll be very easy between the two of you in terms of, um, you know, there is no hesitation, there is no awkward silences. You always have to, you always have something to talk about, you always have things to do. So, it's like all about moving forward. The Eight of Wands is also a card of Cupid's arrows, so there's definitely a lot of love coming in for you with this person. And uh, the Ace of Cups. Clarifying the Eight of Wands is the confirmation of that. The Ace of Cups, by the way, is, is just one of the two Aces. Uh, whenever I see more than one Ace in the same spread, that means that, yeah, there's like the two of you are definitely on the same page and the two of you definitely want to move forward. But the Ace of Cups is uh, all about genuine, authentic love. And I believe it's going to be mutual right from the get go. Because the next card that came out is the Two of Cups, and the, one of the interpretations of the Two of Cups is mutual feelings. Besides that, it's also a soulmate card. It's a card of uh, unconditional love. It's a great card to have, especially with uh, the Ace of Cups being so close to it. And the Eight of Wands, which is, as I already mentioned, uh, could be interpreted as a Cupid's Air. So you, right from the get-go, there's a lot of uh, feelings, mutual feelings. It's like love at first sight. Uh, for both of you. <laughs> the Ace of Swords, the next card that came out, is clarified by the Six of Wands. Both cards are, are pretty much similar energies in this spread. Both cards are feeling great, both cards are about new beginnings. The Six of Wands is a card of victory, it's a card of feeling great. Back in the day, the Six of Wands used to be called the Proposal card, right? And uh, there could be a proposal coming up for you with uh, the Justice card being here as well, but we'll, we'll talk about that in just a second. But the Ace of Swords, it could be um, the truth, right, coming out. And the truth is, um, the two of you are in love with each other, why don't you just, you know, don't waste any time, uh, skip a couple of dates and just move towards a commitment. <laughs> right? The Ace of Swords is a brand new beginning. It's a very straightforward uh, conversation that the two of you will have and uh, it's like after that conversation everything will be in the place. You know, everything will be um, completely crystal clear that both of you have feelings towards each other, they're mutual feelings and those feelings are love, lots and lots of love. Um, in the potential outcome we have Justice with the King of Wands and uh, the Empress. Justice could be a Libra you're dealing with, but most likely Justice is um, you're finally getting what you deserve. You know, Karma is finally um, getting back to you but as we all know karma could be bad and good and I think that's good karma so you must have done something good Scorpio. <laughs> Justice could also be um, uh, 
the legal system and by that I mean it could be an actual place where people get married like a chapel or it could be a person who's got the authority to marry other people right and with the 601s being there as well you know who knows perhaps the two of you will decide to tie the knot in January um, and uh, the next card I give out is the king of wands that's the person you're dealing with and uh, then we have the empress like I said that is also you that's the way this person sees you they're putting you up on a pedestal the empress often comes towards the future wife or the future significant other finger the empress could also be somebody who is expecting a baby so if having children is still an option for the two of you the two of you could definitely have children together but besides that the empress is one of the most positive cards in the deck it's abundance in its purest form and in my spread the empress usually shows up as a sign from above or a stamp of approval for a connection to move forward, for this relationship to uh, develop into something more than just a relationship. So yeah, it's looking really good. Like I said, both of you will be definitely on the same page. Lots of love towards each other, um, mutual feelings, and it's like the two of you want to move forward as quickly as uh, uh, you possibly can because both of you will re come to that realization or after that conversation that the two of you will have, you'll understand that, yeah, let, let's not waste any time, let's just uh, go forward, <laughs> all right? <laughs> really happy for you, Scorpio, congratulations. Scorpio, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Three of Pentacles, we have the Chariot, uh, we have the world and we have death on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing uh, with a Cancer or another Scorpio. You see death came out again and it's also on the bottom of the deck just like in the previous spread. <laughs> I don't know if you watched it. Uh, but this is a different deck. Uh, so you guys are definitely in charge, <laughs> Scorpios, no matter what's happening in your life. Because um, it's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading and death is your personal card. Um, so the two of you are either going someplace traveling um, you could be buying a new car or perhaps you're starting something new like a job uh, one of you could be starting a new job both of you could be starting a, you know new different jobs or perhaps the two of you are starting like a side gig together uh, which could potentially become uh, your main source of income something among those lines it's a it's um it's an important month for the two of you because we've got three major arcana cards right and uh, a lot of it is going to be up to you because, like I said, we got your card death uh, here on the bottom of the deck. So the Page of Pentacles, the first card I came out is clarified by the Three of Pentacles. All right, so the Page of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles, it could be that new side gig, the two of you are starting. Perhaps you will figure that you can do something at home and an online business or you can actually create something, make something, you know, but it's not going to be a lot of money because the Page of Pentacles is you know just not much literally a side gig right um, and uh, the thing of Pentacles clarifying it it's a card of collaboration it's a card of a team environment so this is the two of you starting something together if it's not about work business and finances then perhaps uh, the two of you are going someplace traveling or you're thinking about buying a new car and that uh, you're like doing your research together going to different dealerships doing test drives and things like that the chariot the next card over it could be that new car that you are looking to buy right or the chariot is actually going someplace right um, or if this is still about work business and finances the chariot is all about moving forward in that direction getting this uh, off the ground then we have the world the world is a card of an ending but this is my happy end card right um, this is also a card of a travel someplace remote so if you were looking for a new car, you'll finally find it. <laughs> That's why we got the world here. Or, like I said, if you are traveling, then the world symbolizes that remote place. Or if you're starting a new business or starting a new job, that symbolizes a new chapter, right? One chapter of your life coming to an end and a new happy chapter is about to begin. So yeah, like I said, it's an important month for you. You're definitely either going someplace or starting something or buying a new car. A great month, all right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Scorpio, in January. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. Also, keep in mind, we are in Venus retrograde until the 29th of January. What that usually means is more Xs than usual could resurface. So we've got the Queen of Wands, we have the King of Cups, um, we have the Page of Cups clarified by the Knight, 
of cups and uh, we also have the magician on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could also be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, another Scorpio or Pisces. So yeah, as you can see, we have a couple here, this Queen of Wands and uh, the King of Cups. So for some of you, you could be uh, getting back together with this fire sign, the Queen of Wands, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter, right? Um, and uh, yeah, there's going to be a hot pursuit, I guess, because <laughs> I got the Page of Cups with the Knight of Cups right next to the deck, and we also have the Magician on the bottom of the deck. The, the Magician is all about manifestation, the Magician is also a card of taking action. Right, then the, the Page of Cups, clarified by the Knight of Cups, is that action. It's like lots and lots of action. <laughs> the Page of Cups is a card of an apology, and the Knight of Cups is like an upgrade. But that means that uh, whoever is in, whoever is the one making the reconciliation offer, is gonna show a lot of love and do all those nice and uh, loving, fuzzy, cuddly things towards the other person. Right, the Knight of Cups is called the Knight on the Shining Armor. And uh, it's all about love, love, love. <laughs> so you can assign the roles as you wish. You could be the uh, the queen of wands. You could be the king of cups. You know, however it plays out for you. But I do see this as uh, a very serious attempt to get back together. I don't see any rejection cards. I don't see any uh, refusal cards. So I only see lots and lots of love. <laughs> all right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Scorpio, this month. We have the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Wands. And we also have the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, so that Ten of Swords kind of threw me off, but it makes sense now since I clarified it. Uh, the Ten of Swords is a card of an ending, and uh, it's clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, which is a card of waiting. Right? So... It kind of feels like you're starting this new year with a new approach, with a new strategy. And your strategy is you will no longer wait for anybody. Right? So you're no longer waiting for anybody. You're no longer allowing anybody to drag you down, to slow you down. Right? The, the new Scorpio of 2022 is going to take on the initiative and do whatever you think is necessary. Do what you think is right. Uh, get very active, proactive, get excited, just do whatever you feel is right. <laughs> and that's what I think the Knight of Wands right next to the deck is all about. I think that's you embracing that energy. The Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck, that is also you. And the Knight of Wands is the, your energy, right? This is how you're projecting yourself into the universe. Very active, very fiery, very passionate. Um, you will conquer whatever you think is necessary to conquer uh, you're getting excited, you're getting inspired, it's all about just, you know, moving forward. And uh, you're no longer waiting for anybody, ever. <laughs> not in not in 2022. The Eight of Pentacles in the middle, this is a card of work, business, and finances. Perhaps you think that by the end of 2022, you want to get a promotion or you want to get out of this job. Perhaps you want to start some classes, improve your skills, but it's like... You're no longer sitting on your butt waiting for anybody. That's what I keep receiving. <laughs> You're getting um, very fiery and very passionate about your career. If you run your own business, then it will flourish this year. All right, cool. Here's an advice or a word of wisdom for you, uh, Scorpio, for the whole month of uh, January. We have the Page of Wands, we have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Six of Pentacles, clarified by the three of wands, and we also have the six of wands on the bottom of the deck. Um, I don't know if this is about love, but uh, it is probably about work, business, and finances, right? So you may get two different offers uh, from two different companies, or you may get a new offer from um, another a new company, and uh, I think the advice here is for you to start this bidding war between those two companies, <laughs> right? Um, and by the bidding war, I mean, uh, you know, you receive one offer letter, you send it to the other company and ask them to bid that, to give you more money, basically, or give you something on top of that. And uh, another zodiac sign had a similar message, right? So my suggestion was that it's, it's not bad. It's not a bad idea to start this bidding war, because, uh, you know, if you are... 
uh, great at what you do, you should compens you should get compensated accordingly. So the two pages right there, I think those are two different offers. Then we got the six of Pentacles qualified by the three of ones, and we also have the six of ones on the bottom of the deck. So the uh, the six of Pentacles, it could be uh, you see that person standing up in the middle, right? And uh, we also got two other people. Um, in the lower part of the uh, Six of Pentacles. And those two people, two people on the sides, it could be those two different companies. And there you are in the middle, just going back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> and uh, you're holding up the scales, so whichever side of the scales tips over, that's the one you're going to go for. Um, the Three of Wands clarifying the Six of Pentacles, this is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision, that's you, right? And uh, you're going to be the one in charge, you're going to be the one choosing, picking. And uh, the six of ones on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of victory, this is a card of success, it's a card of recognition. So you'll, you will definitely feel like the winner. So when those two offers come in, go ahead and get them to do that bidding war against each other. Or if you get one company give you an offer, just go back to your existing company and uh, make them give you more money. <laughs> and at the end of the day, you'll feel like a victory. All right, so yeah, that's what I got for you, Scorpio, for this uh, month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please, please also share and so, uh, please also subscribe and share. And other than that, Scorpio, have an amazing January. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.